do it. If they want to sh show you how to how to um, vaccination do, policy, for instance. Well, no, 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 no. This this is like how to diffuse a confrontational situation between uh, a woman who's just had a child and the baby mama. And so we would we would actually go to the the uh, to the uh, facilities to the play to the <laughs> play, play it out and play it out. <laughs> yeah. And so like, really? yeah, this is yeah, this is real. <laughs> so like, uh, I, I was the I, was I love the, doing that. I was the baby mama. Um, Erica Hubbard, who actually was on on Lincoln Heights, played the 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 new mom in the hospital, and then there was another actor playing the father. And so we okay. would just improv a scene, right? You know, live in front of the staff, and someone would come in and kind of direct and say, "Well, this is how you diffuse the situation." You know, you you this is how, as a staff member, you handle this confrontation. Um, oh. <laughs> that, that kind of thing can be recorded for companies and distributed just internally with the same kind of idea of, of showing a new policy. And so those are called industrial films. And because Chicago is very corporate, that's, that was a, there's a lot of opportunity for that. But when I would audition, they felt I was too Chicago and they wanted me to be more American. And so I feel like the industry sees me as being this very Southern woman, um, even though um, I am very much aware that I have a city edge to me, mm -hmm. can't quite navigate that. So I have had to be malleable in my walk and in my journey and find my way to show them how to see me, which is how I believe you have to be if you're black in this industry. You have to show them because they see you one way and that's just, oh, that's that kind of black girl. Mm -hmm. um, that's that kind of black woman. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, the more refined and assimilated you can project in a character, the more opportunities you may have. Um, and, and that's just business. And it's sort of life because you don't know how many people walk up to me. Hey, are those dreads real? If you take your hat off or, you know, they think I'm just a happy roster man and I'm smoking all the time and some of it or most of it may be true. But, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But how dare you? you know? <laughs> but what yeah. does that mean, too? Like, you know, the reality is, is that, that what are the preconceived notions that come with that? <laughs> what, what, OK, so if you are. So now what? What does that right. mean? Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly. What conversation can really happen. True. Um, how have you utilized your South Side Chicago upbringing? How do you think that this may have helped you um, in life? Hmm. Um, tenacity. Hmm. Um, I the scars that I got growing up falling, just literally, literally tripping and falling. Um, kind of represent the journey is that you will fall a lot and you got to get up. And now, so the scar could be a reminder um, that you do heal, like we heal. So we don't have to worry about falling because we'll, some, something or someone will catch us. Um, it's just about getting up. And I learned that in Chicago. It is a labor town that respects hard work and labor. Um, Man. And so that's necessary to forge any kind of career, particularly one that's not that's based, this opinion based, you know, the public kind of dictates the rise um, because of what is fed. So if it's fed to eat McDonald's, then there's a likelihood that that's going, going to be dinner at least once or twice a week. Um, that's the reality. Well said, well said biggest mistakes that you see um, from actors? And I'm not putting the sex on that. Thinking it's an overnight thing. Thinking that it, you know, it's that the, 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 the things that we see are usually the exceptions and not the rule. So the rule is, you know, it takes about 10 to 15 to really have an impact. 
that's the rule. I knew that when I came to LA, they were like about 10, year 10 is when you hit your mark where people really kind of know who you mm -hmm. are in business. And that's hard for people to understand, mm -hmm. get it before year 10. And it was, I was one of those actors that was hard for me to comprehend. Um, the journey uh, idea came from Spike Lee. He was like, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And he said this before we worked together the first time. So um, that was something that I needed to experience to understand and really believe. And then saying like, oh, it is a marathon because my life isn't over. I don't, I didn't say I'm only going to do 10 films and I'm out. Or I'm only going to do, you know, be on TV. I'm going to hit 50 TV shows. Like I didn't come with that kind of goal. My goals are lofty, much bigger than that. And so if that, if I already know, I already know I have it. I already know the role is mine. I already know that I am where I'm supposed to be, not where I want to be, but where I'm supposed to be. If I already know that, then that relieves some of the stress and the pressure. And in this business, you have to believe that because we have a choice. Like I could leave any time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I met, when I met uh, Milana, she was, I don't know if you were living in the Valley, but you were on Scandal at that time how to get away with murder was it how to get away with murder it was how to get away with murder i thought it was scandal okay my bad i received yeah. that i mean scandal's off the air now so yeah. it, it, you know unless they do a reboot i've never <laughs>